The thing about Fabers, it was marvellous, all the authors that one met and knew. And I'm glad I didn't go into an advertising agency. I think it's much more interesting. Well, the one I was most fond of was P.D. James, because, you know, the first one I did for her, she came in to see it, was The Skull, which we'd hired and we put a wig on it and then we did it and we asked her to come and look at it. And she was really quite nervous when she came in, because um, she really wasn't very well known. And she was, you know, she was just marvellous to get on with, T.S. Eliot. <laughs> If you knew he was T.S. Eliot, you know, you'd think how wonderful, but otherwise you'd pass him in the street. I think he was usually delivered by a taxi, and he'd come in, and he'd pass Miss Swan, our telephonist, and he'd take about six, ten pages to the lift. And it was one of these ones with, uh, you know, ironwork. You know, you pulled it, so he would go in, and then he would go up one floor, I think. Uh, so if you went up the steps, you could see him come out and cross landing to his uh, office and I mean you know he he worked office hours he was not a Berthold he worked office hours he did hundreds of blurbs for the books and went to the book committee and everything oh he was there uh, but one just sort of got used to him being there one or two of my colleagues um, I couldn't bear to do it they used to give him a lot of books and would he sign them for friends and he was very good you know so he'd write his name on them um, more fool me for not. <laughs> well, I mean, this is all well before my time, but I mean, it is a classic and it's just marvellous to think how relaxed T.S. Eliot was, you know, just doing these poems and doing the illustration for his godchildren. I mean, incredible. I mean, when you think how much money that's pumped into the firm, and it was just, you know, enjoyment. It's a period piece. And knowing he did it, I think I prefer it to the Albertus. <laughs>